Thanks to Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. What's up, guys? Mitchell Watts with Town Country TV, and today is a very fun day. This is my personal 2021 Ford Bronco Badlands. Yes, I know it doesn't have the sticker. I don't like stickers, so I removed the sticker. But anyways, um, this is my Bronco Badlands, and we are actually going to be putting a three-inch lift kit on it and 37-inch tires. In addition to that, we're going to be doing bumpers front and rear. We got uh, some step bars from the side to side, and it's going to be really, really cool. I'm so excited. And so what we're going to do in this video is kind of document what that whole process looks like. Now, I will tell you though, the very first thing is, is the, the lift kit that we're going with is a four wheel parts, three inch coil over setup. So it is truly a coil over setup. Uh, in my opinion, it's one of the best lift kits, really the only decent high end uh, lift kit that is currently available that fits a Badlands. So if you didn't realize the Badlands has the premium suspension system. So it has those position sensitive dampers. And so you can't just put like a two inch strut spacer on top of it to push everything down because it messes with those position sensitive dampers. And so the only way to really lift this thing at this current time when I'm making this video is to replace those struts completely with a coilover. And the only somebody that makes a coilover is four wheel park. So what I tried to do, I was like, you know what, um, you know, I've got all the faith in the world with TC Customs and I wanted them to do the work because that's our shop, obviously. But there is literally a, what do you, a monopoly on those lift kits right now. I tried to go on fourwheelparts.com and purchase them and every time I've tried to purchase them, they're out of stock or they're back ordered or what have you. Uh, same with the bumpers and just about every component I would need to. I was willing to pay full retail for those. Um, so I actually called our local four wheel parts. And by the way, those guys are, are super nice to deal with. I don't have any quorums with them. Uh, they're just not our shop. It's a different shop. Um, and they said, well, actually, yeah, we do have some, but they are reserved. And I was like, well, what are you talking about? So a, a sister company to four wheel parts called DSI, Dealer Services Incorporated, actually is holding a certain number of these lift kits to themselves, not for sale to the public, meaning that it has to be purchased through a dealership or through their secondary portion. Um, and so basically what that boils down to is if you want those coilovers, Four Wheel Parts says, no, you have to you have to have let us install them. So I kind of feel like I'm cheating on my wife a little bit <laughs> by letting another shop do custom work on my Bronco. But I can tell you though, hopefully it'll turn out really, really nice. And we're just gonna use this as a test bed. Uh, at the end of the day, this Bronco is probably going to see three or four different lift kits underneath it. We're gonna be testing every single one of those out to let you know what works best, what doesn't work so good, and just let my mistakes help you guys out in the long run. So if nothing else, hit that thumbs up for that reason. So without further ado, I've already got the set of wheels and tires on the showroom here. Let's go take a look at those and we got to load those up so we can take in four wheel parts. That way they can start the conversion. And these are the wheels and tires that I'm going to be putting on my Bronco. These things are absolutely massive. Now, by the way, I'll tell you, all right, so these are 37 by 12 fifties. I'm six foot three, if you can kind of put this into perspective of how massive these wheels and tires are, but it's very exciting to see. Now, if these wheels and tires look familiar, that's because they do. So if you remember the video that we did with the Bronco Nation, where we test fitted 37s on a stock Badlands Bronco, this is the exact same set that were featured in the, that video. These are a set of Black Rhino Glacier wheels wrapped around a set of Falcon Wild Peak MT tires. Now I'm really excited to see how these things sound on the road because I'm gonna be doing a lot of daily driving and uh, we might actually be driving my Bronco to the Bronco Super Celebration in Colorado. I haven't made the decision yet if I'm gonna trailer it or if I'm gonna drive the 1500 miles one way to that Bronco Super Celebration, but the Bronco is definitely going no matter what. So kind of exciting stuff there. Now this is a 17 by eight wheel and it is a positive 35 millimeter offset. So although it sounds like it's a very mild offset, when you're starting to talk about a 37 by 1250, it's a massive tire. So without further ado, we're gonna raise up the door, load these back up into the chase vehicle so we can drop these off at four wheel parts and that way they can go ahead and start the customization process. <laughs> Golly, these puppies ain't light. All right, now it is time to weigh the absolute last set that we're gonna try on this vehicle. And let's go ahead and zero it out. And let's roll it on there and see what we got. 118 pounds. Well, let me throw one up there. You sure? Oh yeah, he I just gotta got prove himself. Got to You've got a bad knee though. Are you sure you're okay? <laughs> Oh, look at him. My man Colton putting in that work. Yeah, so if you guys didn't know, 
Colton actually just got back from his honeymoon. Yeah. That, that might be why he uh, has got so much extra energy, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> Coming from a guy that's been married a little too long. So, <laughs> oh, it'll fit all five, that's for sure. So, all right, now that we've got uh, these tires loaded up, let's go ahead and uh, get the Bronco delivered. All right, and so we are here at Four Wheel Parts dropping the vehicle off, uh, about to get the lift kit. Hey, uh, I do want to showcase to you a little something, something in the garage. I don't know if the camera's going to be able to pick that up, but that's a pretty nasty wild track. But anyways, what we're doing to this vehicle, you're going to see here in just a few seconds. This is actually going to take me about four days, but for you guys, it's going to be about 30 seconds. But before we do that, I have so many people always asking, what does, what does uh, lifting my truck, what does it do to my fuel economy? Well, as you kind of slide over here, we'll take a look and showcase to you for yourself. This particular vehicle, once we clear out the, uh, the code for the door being open, 15.3 is what I'm actually averaging over 243 miles. And so not a bad fuel economy, but keep in mind, I was literally trying to get as good a fuel economy as I can. And I'm also keeping the RPMs down. I've, uh, literally the entire time I've driven this, I've kept the RPMs under 2,500 RPM because it is technically still in its break-in period. So uh, it's interesting to see what these massive 37s are going to do to the fuel economy. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and take a fast forward four days and take a look with the finished product. Before we go any further, I do want to say a huge thanks to Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. Simply Safe is an easy to set up home security system. Don't mess with long ordering and setup processes. Simply Safe enables you to design a system that's best for you and it ships directly to your doorstep. They've got sensors to cover every window, room, and door, and they even have HD cameras so that way if I wanted to monitor my Bronco if I've got it parked in the driveway, I have that ability to right there from the smartphone app. Your home will be professionally monitored 24-7 and on. if something does on. happen, Simply Safe will automatically notify the authorities alarm on off. your behalf. Now I personally had a bad experience with other alarm companies. They were charging me crazy monthly service fees for the monitoring and that's why I was so excited to work with Simply Safe because they have monitoring services that start at 50 cents a day. Take 20% off of your Simply Safe security system and your first month is free when you sign up for the interactive monitoring service. Go to simplysafe.com forward slash TC Customs to learn more. And once again, thank you for Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. All right, so we are here to pick up the Bronco and I am super excited. I'm super pumped. I uh, hadn't had a chance to see what it looks like yet, so hopefully it looks halfway decent. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and hop inside and see what we've got. All right, All right let's see what we've got. Uh, I've not looked at it yet. <laughs> that thing is nasty. Absolutely, totally changed the look of this thing. Well done, sir. Thank you. Holy crap. Hell yes, I like it. <laughs> what kind of question is that? I don't know, man. Golly. It's still not a Jeep. It, yeah, well, I'm not going to. I plead the fifth on that one. <laughs> So, okay, so I was really concerned that these fender flares were gonna stick out a little bit too wide, but um, I mean, they match almost perfectly. You know, the nice part is, is because of the package that, that we went with, it's got the fender deletes. Uh, they're probably, they said they're gonna put them in like in the back seat or whatever, or in the trunk space. They're, okay, so, so, so that's the cool part. So once we get done wrapping this thing, um, and I'm not worried about rocks getting kicked up onto the paint, then we can go back with those uh, fender deletes and the nice part is since it's so modular you can just kind of go back and forth back and forth and you've kind of got a fender or a lack of a fender depending on what that situation is so oh my goodness this is sick golly oh ho, we got the uh relocation bracket for that spare tire uh so it's going to be interesting to see uh, how much and whether this tailgate can actually the handle the weight of that nasty mad big old 37 inch tire but um yeah okay so let's for the first time ever let's see what it's like to get in this thing without any steps now i'm six foot three so let's see what this is like and i'm a little bit of foam padding is it okay if i go ahead and get in it okay I just, all right <laughs> all right so yep just right <laughs> 
So uh, as you can see, the rock sliders are still on it. A part of the package that you, you get is it comes with uh, the, the four wheel parts steps there as well. But man, a freaking live. That is, oh, that is so bad. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Uh, let's go ahead and get the build wrapped up. Um, we'll go ahead and fast forward just a little bit so you can kind of see uh, what this thing looks like, what the finished product looks like uh, outside in its proper element, and uh, we'll kind of wrap it up from there. And here she is. This is the final product of my brand new 2021 Ford Bronco Badlands Edition. Now, I want to kind of go over some of the things that uh, we did and kind of give you some more specifics and things that you need to know about this particular build. Now, I will tell you, make sure you follow the channel. Make sure you subscribe down below with that bell notification turned on because we've got a couple of other things. We're going to do a wrap and a couple of other things to this particular Bronco before we actually take it up to Colorado for the Bronco Super Celebration West, which is going to be in early September, as you can see right there on the screen. I would love to meet you guys out there so if you're going to be in the area make sure that you hit me up and i'll be posting some things and so we can do kind of a little bit of a meetup and also doing some trail riding so i'm super excited about that now let's talk a little bit about what is going on with this particular build and exactly what did we do the very first thing you're going to notice is going to be the suspension system this is a two and a half inch lift roughly it is an actual coil over system so it is completely adjustable i can tune it up turn it down whatever i want to do but it is a two and a half inch diameter coil over system from four wheel parts. It does clear the way for these 37 inch Falcon Wild Peak MT tires and uh, they actually drive really, really well. There is going to be a little bit of road noise and a little bit of a roaring as far as the tire is concerned because again, it is an MT tire, a mud terrain tire to be expected. And it is 100% manageable and I'm super excited to see what this thing uh, does as far as a long term. I've got 700 miles on the odometer and I've put about 500 miles since the lift has actually been installed. So there was kind of a little bit of a gap there. Now, let's talk about the wheel combination as well. These are a set of Black Rhino Glacier wheels. The wheel itself is a 17 by eight. So it's 17 inches in diameter, it's eight inches wide, and it has a positive 35 millimeter offset. And as you can see, the offset works out perfectly with these wider steel fender flares from Ford Accessories. Now, I'm super glad that I also have the fender deletes and I'm gonna be kind of going back and forth since this is truly a modular vehicle. And so if I just feel like going with fender deletes one day, I can do that. If I want to go back to these normal fenders, don't want everything slinging up on the side of the truck, I can do that too. So I love the modularity of the vehicle itself. You'll also notice that the rock sliders are the Ford factory rock sliders. Uh, I did also purchase the four wheel parts step bars and I might have to actually do that because my kids <laughs> being five and eight years old or almost six and eight years old, uh, they're going to struggle to get in and out of this thing a little bit, but I'm six foot three, so I don't really struggle so much. My wife as well, she kind of has to kind of get a running start to get in this thing without any steps. Now let's talk about the bumpers, front and rear. So these are going to be four wheel parts bumpers. And as you can see, uh, not only does it have the bumper, but the reason that I went with this setup versus something else like the Ford Performance winch bumper is that it does not get rid of the radar sensor. So this factory bumper, this aftermarket bumper keeps the factory radar sensor in the front end. You don't have to modify it. You don't have to tweak it or tune it. And this bumper also relocates the, the actual parking sensors in the front and the rear. So I think that's a pretty cool setup as well. Now, the only downside is going to be the 360 camera that is included in that high package on the Badlands. Uh, you do have a fantastic view of the winch in that front view, but that's okay because I still have the cameras located inside of these rear view mirrors on either side. So if you're in the right mode, these cameras still look forward to see where your wheels are being placed as far as placement is concerned. So you're not losing all the functionality, especially since I still have the parking sensor. So that's a pretty sweet little setup. Now, as far as these lights are concerned, these are gonna be the Pro Comp lights. Uh, these are a DOT approved light that you can actually drive at night with them on. Uh, these lights up here are not street legal. These are the pod lights that, that you have the option to go with, as well as the cube lights that are gonna be located in the rear bumper as well. And uh, as you can see right there on the screen as well, we also have the fifth matching spare tire and straight stolen from Jeep, we have the ring light for the third brake light. Because we have this 37 inch spare on there, you don't really have the clearance for the third brake light to go over it. And I wanted something a little cleaner, a little different, a little unique. So we actually took a Jeep 
third brake light that goes behind the wheel and we modified it to fit this particular application, wired it up. I think it looks absolutely fantastic with a much cleaner look as well. Coming back to the front end for just a second, let's talk about the winch that we have hooked up to this bumper. Now this is gonna be the Smitty Built XRC Gen 3 front winch and it's beautiful because it's got the synthetic line to it and I also have the Factor 55 uh, front hoop there so that way you can hook up your soft shackle to it and you're taken care of there. Now what's really nice about this particular winch is not only has it got the magnet so that way you don't have to worry about dropping the, the, the control into the mud or into the dirt, but you also have a built-in light there as well as obviously you're in and you're out. So uh, this is really kind of a nice little winch. Time will tell when we go to Colorado to test this thing out. And there you have it. That is the first look at my 2021 Ford Bronco Badlands lifted on 37s. Now we do have some tire clearance issues that we're going to have to take care of very, very soon in uh, our next video. So if you haven't already done so, make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel with the bell notification so we can go a little bit more in detail on what it's going to take. Now, right now it's clearing pretty well, but I have a feeling once that stabilizer bar disconnect starts getting used, if we don't make some clearance room, we're gonna have some issues with the amount of flex that this thing actually has from the factory. So I'm super pumped to see what that's gonna look like. And if you wanna check that out, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss those videos. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already done so, make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel with that bell notification turned on so you don't miss a single video. Peace.